friends this is my another tutorial regarding how to plot rmsp graph from umbar md simulations you must have generated so many prod1 files prod1 out file or something like that but how to plot the trajectory of the complex protein or you have to plot the graph between the rmsp versus time so that i will explain you in my today's tutorial so before doing that what i would like to tell you these are the inputs file for uh, the, these are the input file for uh, uh, CB, cpp charge if you want to run the trajectory plot or another one this is the uh, input file for mmpgsa and mmgsa so i have given you over here now i will tell you what are the requirements before running these two commands so cpp trash you see that uh, this is the trash.in covid 6bwm pocl heat.mdcrd which is required and these are the production output files means when you will run the simulation uh, of uh, amber of any compliant uh, complex file you will get prod1 mdcrd file prod1.out and prod1.rsc then prod1.rsc will generate after the completion of the simulation okay so a few important points which i would like to mention that uh, i will go on this window so this you can see that in the uh, this covid 6 and 7 one uh, in this particular folder i have run this min dot out min minimization heating density equilibrations and uh, means equilibration if you would like to see on this screen i have done it two times means i have done the equilibration of the complex protein for 1000 equals second and after the completion and everywhere you could see that events you there do the min dot out so min dot out or you do the minimization of the complex file you will get up the completion min dot rsc file that min dot rsc file will be required uh, to run the heating so here you can see that heat dot in and all that and i have given the reference of min dot rsc same way when you will do heating or when you will do density so whatever the heat dot rsc file which will generate after this complete run because it will take 3 to 4 hours so after that heat dot rsc file will be generated that heat dot rsc file you have to put it here for the reference so these are the commands which i think i have already shared in my first uh, uh, that uh, md simulations explanation and after that you when you will do the density here heat dot rsc will take as a reference will be considered as a reference and after that when you will complete the density then in equilibration that density dot rsc which will generate in this simulation will be required so you could see it here that this is the density that rsc is required for the equilibration as a reference and after that when you will do as i said ki i have done uh, simulation of equilibration or what i could say equilibration of the complex protein i have done it two times so in first time i have take density dot rsc as a reference and then now the equilibration dot rsc file that equal dot rsc which i have given the name which will be required as a reference for the second equilibration so here you can say that first equal dot out equal dot rsc and equal now i have given that equal one dot out so this is the second equilibration and here i have given the reference equal dot rsc so here equal one dot rsc will be generated okay so that equal dot rsc will be required for the md simulations when you will do prod run so you could see here prod dot in and prod dot one dot out here i have taken the equal one dot rsc so this is the sequence in every time after the completion suppose heating will complete always this window will this uh, some after the completion this command will appear okay 
So then you have to give second dose. So that you will learn as much as that you play with the amber. Now I will show you how you can do the uh, visualize the path of the trajectory means in, during the simulations or whatever it is how your trajectory path is coming out after MD simulation. So this I will explain you in the, this one uh, this particular. If I will do this cd dot dot okay. So you uh, we can go back to our folder. COVID 6B W1. Whatever I have shown you, that is the COVID 6 and 7. One. Now I will show you that is the human complex spike protein of the coronavirus. So this is the particular folder where I have the legend and every command I have completed because, because I cannot show you everything in one presentation. It requires too much time to complete. So I will tell you project uh, how to do uh, or how to plot RMST versus time graph using CPC charge. So if I will take CD analysis, okay? Analysis cap, okay? Put it here. If I will put it here, well, yes, because I have done everything already. So here I have made one file that is RMST CPP charge. Now I will show you what is RMST CPP charge dot rmsd dot cpp charge tab. Here is the file. There I have given two, three, four simulations like plot one, plot two, plot three, plot four. And these simulations completion required almost a week to complete. Okay. So here if you want to do some changes or something like that, I have to give di command di rmsd dot CPP charge. Okay. So with this command, you can do uh, changes in your file. So I will put it here 0 0.1, and this I will give you is by. So I will change this to okay. So escape colon wq exclamation to save that changes. Now I will do the CPP charge command. For that, I will go back. I will take this uh, path. Okay. Interesting. This is the command for to run the CPP charge. Paste. Okay. So now I have to do some changes in this path. First, this I have changed because my file is RMSP. And now here I will do. This is the complex file, which I told you how to prepare. And then I have to change CL. Now I will put it run, okay? So this is run. So this is how CPP charge will run and it will complete it. And you could see at the bottom that it is 0%, 2%, 10%, 20%, whatever it is, it will go up to the 100%. And then after that, you have to do X and grace. So XM grace is required to plot the graph. But for that, you should have in your uh, so-called this one file in this uh, rmst.cpp charge. That is the input file to run the CPP charge. So in this, you need heat.mdcrd file. You need prod1.mdcrd file and so on, whatever it is. And you need specifically min.rst file. So then it will be completed. Okay. So, and this is the, this one, 02.03.rms. This is the output. With the help of this, you will get the plot generated in the, now I will give the command XM grace, XM grace, okay. 02 underscore 03.rms. Okay. So, you see that. Here is the graph which has come out, okay? So you see that you can change this graph or whatever it is because it's still my simulations are running. So I know and now how can you can change, make the changes in the graph that I can show you. Plot graph to axis properties, okay? So in axis property, x axis, we can keep it up to the 50, okay? 
and then y axis also here y axis here you can put it up to 1 because it is at the bottom line now you can give, give the string command because it is then rmst value okay and in the x axis you can give time in nanoseconds okay then apply RMST value apply. So you see that here it has come RMST value, and I will show you. I have to put it on this one. Axiom grace access property x axis. Okay. I will put it fifty. Okay. So this is. apply and y axis i will put it let it but change i will put it to apply okay so or you can say little bit more change so because you want to put the graph like this 0.5 okay so you see that so this is the exact graph or you can say that more protein is stable during the simulations up to the 15 nanoseconds okay now then you can give the now i will tell you another thing how to insert another graph in this particularly and in this particular drum graph or overlay of the graph i would like to say that overlay graph for that you have to go to data and data here you have to go import and sq2 in sq2 you can give it like this uh, instead of pocr i will go to pocr okay i will put it because i have done already these things so i will pocr this one let's see what happens okay so you could see the two graphs are overlaid over each other now again since i have overlaid the graph i have to again change the axis property it is up to 0.5 okay let's see what happens okay so this is the overlay of the graph now i will tell you how to give the sub titles of this particular because how anybody can be identify which belongs to which so just click on this one Double click. Okay, so here is the line. So first one is suppose like POCL, and the protein is six V W one. Okay, so apply. Another one, the second line, which is the red one. You can change the color from here. Suppose if I would like to change it to green, I will do it green from here, and I will again do it green from here. Apply. Okay, and then you could see. at p o p r underscore six v seven okay apply so your both uh, let me see why it has not changed the color apply okay so then the why it is rejected not changing the graph color Green, green. Here is the again green. Apply. Yeah, you can see that that the color also you can change. You can give the subtitle. It means the black one is showing POCL graph and green one is showing POBR or whatever the compound name you can want to give by name to it. Not about the title of the graph. So plot, click plot, and then graph appearance. Okay, in the graph appearance, you can give this MD simulations of six V W one under score with what flavonoids. Okay, so 
this is this I told you how to plot the trajectory of the MD simulation uh, using XM grids, and the graph will be plotted RMSD versus time in nanosecond. Now I will tell you how to do MMPBSA and MMDBSA. So I will close this one here. Now I will tell you how to give uh, this MMPBSA or MMGPSA approach. For that, I have to go back to back file, okay, CD dot space two. Now in the POCL, I have to give the command in particularly this one. So what I will do? Here is my command for. MMGBSA or MMPBSA input file. I have already told you what are the input file you need. Okay, so particularly some changes I will do it here. POC. Okay, and again I will give it to protein because I have run too much simulations. POC. And this. And now I will go to, yeah, that is perfect. Yeah, okay. okay. I will explain you what are this one. Okay. So this is the command which I will take. I will go back here. I will put it here. Paste. Okay. So this is the command I will explain you. This is Ember 20 bin. This is mmpbsa.py. That is the script which it utilizes for Ember. And this is mmpbsa.in. That is the input file. This is the final one result of this mmpbsa which will generate it. And 6bw1. That will be, I must say, six way. This is the complex file in the water form, which is it is required. This is the complex file in the gases file. Both the form, as I told you during the preparation of the protein complex file in the umber, I told you here that you have to prepare that uh, gas phase as well as the solvated file of this one, CRM1 and RST7. At the same time, it is required the 6BW1 of the receptor file, which already I explained, I think, in my second or third tutorial how to prepare. And then this is the ligand file which is required. And uh, one thing important that whenever you have to do the MMPBSA, you have to reduce the frames. Suppose I have reduced the frame to the number of five. Okay, So then your simulation will be fine. And now it has given that it cannot run. Why some, some error is there? So you have to identify that what is the error which it is not picking up. Okay, so before doing that, this is the important point. I tell you, you have to first give the command from the this one so that it can identify amber.sh. Okay, so this is that slash home slash rtp slash amber20 slash amber.sh. I will copy it and I will put it here. Paste. Okay. Now, after that same, this command, I will run. Now see what it is doing. So, once it is started, if it is getting each and everything, it will tell you loading the checking parameter file. Otherwise, the same, like this error, it will come up over here. Okay, so it got and it is telling you that our, this mmpbsa.py energy is fine. When this uh, command will come, you see that everything is running in a proper way and you will get the value. So I will not waste the time here because it takes more than half an hour. So I can show you from the presentation that how you have the results or I can go into this one folder. Okay, so during the folder, this is POCL. You see that these files will be generated when you will give the mmpbsa.py command. Okay. So this after completion of this, you will get the 
result file in the form of that file, which I can show you in comparison to another one like this one. Okay. After completion, you will get. Okay, so after completion, you will get this one that in the POBR, I would like to say. Okay, you can see that this density dot in, density dot mdprd, and density dot out file. Same the equal dot in, equal dot mdprd. So these three files will be generated in each and every simulation. And when your MMPBS is completed, you will get that final. Uh, one under score result dot mmpbsa dot that file. I will open it. You could see that this is the file because since I am showing you with the different particular protein, so here it will tell you six v double one. We are running with POC, but it has completed with POB. Okay, so it has taken the gas file, water file. It has taken your receptor file because it is written here here. Solvated complex, solvate complex topology, receptor topology, ligand topology. And after that, you will get this reverse and everything it will calculate itself. And you will get your, this is your GBSC calculation. In the top, I can show you generalized bond that is called GBSC. Okay. And at the bottom, you will get it MMPBS. Okay. This is Poisman Boltzmann. So this is Poisman Boltzmann, that is MMPBSA value. I can show you in another file where I got very good results of this one, which I will show you. Yeah. I choose this one. Right? Okay. Yeah. This is the same one. You can go from the top. It is generalized form. And you could see it over here that got I got GBSA value minus 40.93, and I will show you MMPBSA value also, which comes later on. It is here, see, it is here minus 14. So that is delta G, which is the difference of complex minus receptor minus. Receptor. So this is all about how you can plot the trajectory and how you can do the MMPBSA. So for everything, if your input files are correct, you will get good results of everything. So I will stop my presentation here. And uh, please go through all my tutorials. If they are helpful to you, please comment. And if you need some improvement, please just let me know so that I can improve. And I will make a couple of other tutorials so that it will be beneficial for all of you. Thank you very much.